and some of our workers have been traveling around to some of the evacuation areas to see what they could do to help some of the flood victims. What kind of supplies have y'all got? Uh, we have a case of water. We have an extra thing of diapers, too. And we have dog food. Yeah, you could back up right here. This shelter was trying to also take care of people's dogs, and they were getting very overwhelmed. Owner, uh, have you gone to the hospital? Do you know her owner? I know her just from the last shelter that we was at. And I kind of hooked her because she's an older lady. They think she may have to have one of her legs naked. Oh, wow. The dog's owner, Suzanne, had to be rushed to the hospital after being rescued out of the floodwaters and ended up having to leave her dog behind. This poor old dog, whose name we found out was Missy, they had been you know, keeping her outside along with a few other dogs in a makeshift shelter. And it was sad. So we'll get your contact information so when she gets out, and hopefully everything's OK, you know, we'll, we'll do that. At the last shelter, they would not let the animals inside. When Miss Suzanne would go inside for the night, this dog would go and sleep at the door. And she would wait right there until in the morning. You could see it in the dog's eyes once she left. She got so depressed that she was gone. It was just heartbreaking. She then lost her partner, her yeah. other mate. Her oh, other friend? little dog got killed. Oh. I guess so we can't find her. Oh. And she was old, too. So she lost her owner and she lost her little friend. Right. Oh, man. She told me that the other dog, she was 17. And as the rescue boat was coming out, she had both the dogs originally, but the other dog jumped off. Now, oh, my God. And they just couldn't keep up with her. It's oh so old. I guess just due to poor health and being old, she really couldn't swim as strong as what she needed to. Oh my God, oh my God. You know, when this poor old dog fell into the water, they said they couldn't find him. And they just had to keep going to rescue people. You know, it was just a sad situation. I, I didn't even want to think about it. Are you confused? Yeah. See, I'm confused. I feel so bad for her. But I don't even know where I'm going, much less oh. me and the dog. Really? <laughs> My house, my daughter, all three of our houses flooded out. Oh, no. So, but it'll get better. It'll get better. Just seeing what this flood has caused, it's one thing to see it on TV. It's one thing to see it on the internet. But when you're in it, when you see it, when you're out there, it's very overwhelming. All right, then. OK, yeah. Yeah. This dog has obviously been through hell and back. So for now, we're gonna take her you know, into our care and keep her with us until we can reunite her with Suzanne when she gets out of the hospital. I got a text from my friend Trevor. He texts me and he says, hey, in regards to the woman that you're helping with the old dogs, you need to call me ASAP. There's a border collie that I rescued. So, Trevor actually runs a small at-home dog rescue, and he became a part of the flood rescue efforts himself. And while out helping people and their dogs, he actually rescued a dog from the floodwaters that had just dropped from exhaustion. Um, I guess one of I mean, we had already, you know, reunited Missy with Suzanne the night before. But then I remembered. Lost her partner, her yeah. other mate. Oh, her other friend? little dog got killed. Oh. I guess so we can't find her. Oh. And she was old, too. Is that like, like 17 years old? Uh, he looks like an old man. That's, that's her other dog. So you rescued her dog, and, and we have her dog. The dogs got separated. Right, right. The little one fell over. The, the little one fell overboard. Yeah. What are the odds? When I realized that Trevor could have actually unknowingly rescued this old dog who we found out his name was Jericho, you know, it just became almost unbelievable. Oh my God! What are the chances of that happening? Well, you know, send me. A, yeah, it's it's got to be her dog. I can imagine. You know, he's probably in some really bad shape. So Trevor actually got him to a local vet out where he's at 
and they're making sure that he's gonna be okay. Okay, bye. bye. That is amazing. That is amazing. Hey, you sneak in. Wanna come out? Oh my God, you're so cute. Come on, buddy. Come on. When I heard that a 17-year-old dog had fallen overboard into the floodwaters and could not be found, there was no doubt in my mind that this dog did not survive. Come on. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. So to have him here alive, miracle is the only word to describe it. Hold on, little, hold on old guy. Hold on. Jericho was in some pretty bad shape, and in some ways he still is. But you know, thanks to some good people at a vet clinic in Mandeville, you know, they got him stable, and at least you know, able to be reunited with his family again. Come on. Hello. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> Here it goes. You guys know each other? Come on, come on. <laughs> nice meeting you. you. Yes. Hi, I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Come on, Jericho. You've had quite a journey, I think. We need to come get. Come buddy. Come on. Oh, why? Well, he's perked up now. Yeah, let's get his buddy. Oh, mama. Oh, 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 you lost. He perked up quite a bit. Gosh. Forget mama for getting you lost. Oh. Oh. Suzanne has lost so much, but at least she still has her dogs. They're a family that not even a flood could pull apart. This yeah. is Trevor. He's the one yeah. that found your dog. Hi, Trevor. All because of the kindness of people who had never even met them before. And somebody was watching out for him. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Thank you so much so for helping me. It's a volatile world down here with hurricanes, tornadoes, floods. But a stronger force than all those combined are these people who stand shoulder to shoulder to take on whatever is thrown at them. It's how they keep going. Because they know that no matter what, when you're lost, there will be someone there to help you find your way. 